Hello! Welcome to Dunkin' Egg Bricks and to another LEGO Harry Potter review. This time we're going to be taking a look at what is, at the moment, the final Hogwarts Moment set. This is set number 76396, Hogwarts Moment Divination Class. So this is the second of two new Hogwarts Moment sets that have been released for March 2022, the other one being the Defence Against the Dark Arts class, which I previously reviewed. I won't go into too much detail about the uh, idea of the Hogwarts Moments books themselves, this is my sixth review of the Hogwarts Moments concept, so I've talked plenty about that. So I'm just going to focus on the details that set this set apart, starting with the minifigs. This being the Divination class, we of course get Professor Trelawney. On the left is the figure that comes in this set, and on the right is the figure that came in the CMF Series 1. As far as I can see, they use exactly the same um, sort of hair headscarf combo piece, which looks great. It's dual moulded with printed detail on the top. The uh, clothes are different, but they're going for the same kind of idea. Um, in fact, they share this kind of tassel detail at the top. It's actually identical. Uh, the main difference being that the uh, one on the right uses sand green all over and a skirt piece, and the one on the left uses reddish brown and uh, legs instead. And uh, obviously their detail continues on to the back of the new figure with some nice uh, sort of highlights. The other figure did not have any printing on the back, which is very unusual, but it's still a very nice figure. Trelawney is a character that we didn't get, um, well, we actually only got once previous to this figure appearing, so it's nice to get a second version of her. I have just noticed that her eyes are ever so slightly bigger on the new version. Of course, she has got a different expression. Um, and the other thing she has, which the other figure did not come with, is an alternate expression where she looks a little bit more worried. So maybe you can see this as her when she's making the uh, prophecy to Harry in Prisoner of Azkaban or when she's getting fired by Umbridge in Order of the Phoenix. So nice to have a bit of variety there with three total expressions. If you have that previous CMF series, she of course comes with her wand, as do all the wizard and witch characters in these sets. By now we're used to the fact that these sets come with a couple of students to go with the teacher. They are both happen to be uh, Gryffindor students in this case, of course the ubiquitous Harry Potter on the right, and then making what I think is only her second appearance after the uh, 2020 advent calendar is Pavati Patel. Uh, or Patel? Patil, sorry. Um, and these figures look decent. Um, the Harry uses the same facial expression for the uh, years three and four Harry that we've come to expect. Um, it actually goes back to a hairpiece which was previously used, I think, for Ron, um, and also was used for Harry in, I think, the Series 1 CMF, um, not the sort of dedicated Harry Potter hair piece that was created for the 2018 revival. Um, still looks decent, not sure if it's completely reflective of the Prisoner of Azkaban Harry. Uh, comes with a torso we've had a few times now, the Gryffindor robes open with the jumper underneath. Pavati comes with the closed robes, which are very similar, and uh, she does come with an alternate expression. We just turn her around. Uh, don't know if this is the same head they used last time, I would have to double check that, um, and just comes with a fairly common hairpiece in black. Both of them come with their wands, Harry's is actually shared with Trelawney on the sprue, and um, Pavati comes with a dark orange one, of course you get a spare as they come as a pack of two. Moving on to the book, the main colour this time is purple, or dark purple, whatever you want to call it, uh, same colour as the night bus, and I think this is a really nice colour choice. Some of the colour choices for these sets have been a little bit, uh, um, I'm looking at you Hufflepuff, but uh, I really like this one, I think the purple suits the uh, kind of mysticism of divination really nicely, there's some good prints on the front there, that uh, is either a werewolf or possibly the Grimm. Um, you've got some leaves there, a cup of tea, the moon, a gemstone, and a, um, a crystal ball there. Obviously the Hogwarts crest, as we've come to expect. The purple and yellow, or uh, flame orangish yellow, they actually really remind me of the character Danju from Knight's Kingdom 2. Does anybody remember that? Um, he's where that purple helmet comes from for the spacemen, the purple spaceman, I should say, that everybody wants to collect at the moment. It's exactly the same detailing, nice sticker showing a crystal ball there, and these connections so you can attach it to other books. Opening it up, we get, uh, well, the first thing is storage for the book, just as there is in the Defence Against the Dark Arts one. This is a really lovely little print, just says The Grim. Um, that's a very good representation of The Grim from Harry's Teacup um, in a lime green book, which I think we got one in the Astronomy Tower, but I've not seen it elsewhere. That just gets tucked away in the little cupboard at the back. Uh, the doors for the cupboard do just come open very easily, especially if you tilt it down. As you saw, it fell right out. But once it's all closed up, that's absolutely fine. 
Right, let's start to take some of this stuff off. So up here we have a table, very simply built, uses dark bluish grey ice cream cones as the legs, not uh, in the inverted way that the Defence Against the Dark Arts one does, but still a nice build. At the back here we have a tan unprinted modern owl. Now I don't know if we've had these before, I certainly haven't had them in any set so this is an interesting detail. It's obviously meant to represent a uh, statue of an owl rather than an actual one which is cool. Over here we have Professor Trelawney's uh, big well, it's described as a winged armchair. I feel like this is a fairly decent representation. It could probably do with a back about twice as tall, but that wouldn't fit in the set. Um, it actually comes with this little clip on the back. That's all to do with supporting this, uh, which actually goes together like that. So it doesn't actually clip on, but it's just a way of supporting it, attaching to these two studs. So that's Trelawney's chair. Here we've come to the first bit where I have a confession to make, and that is that I have not applied all the stickers. These are the stickers I didn't apply, so these two large ones are actually supposed to go here and here, and then this one goes on this. Now the reason I haven't done that is that I have not planned out my um, divination classroom yet. It's probably going to be in the second part of Hogwarts that I've not started on, and I didn't know whether I wanted to use these stickers, and I uh, thought it was a bit of a waste to apply them here, and then not be able to use them in that build. Of course I can remove them with a certain someone's patented hot tea technique um, but rather than going to all the trouble of that I thought I'd just leave them. Um, I would have stuck this one on if this build wasn't upside down um, purely because I can totally see using it like this but uh, upside down I think would just cause me all sorts of headaches. It's upside down for the reason that it fits in better that way, put it that way up and then uh, things like the uh, chair um, can actually just sit in there nicely. The uh, tiles just here rest on top of those clip pieces and it does look good. Um, so if you want to see it with the sticker, you'll have to look at the official pictures. Okay, these all have a sort of opening feature and in order to get the left hand side open, we're going to need to remove a couple of things. We've got to stand there with a teapot, very important of course, and then we also have a uh, crystal ball that just comes off on this two by two round plate. And then we have two seats built in the same sort of style that we've seen before, just very low profile, but they're good enough. And because the students have bendable mid legs, we can put them on there. And once that's off, we can open this out. I really like the representation of the curtains around the room with these dark red inverted slopes. I think they look very good. You get a lot of dark red pieces in this, which is nice. Um, we also get kind of randomly one of uh, these. I'll just take it off because it's a bit difficult to see. One of these relatively new pieces um, that I think first came in the police station. I certainly haven't got many of them, although some did come in the hospital wing set. And that's actually holding in an opalescent one by one round brick, which is cool to get. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's representing something specific, maybe a lantern or something. And um, there's a candle off to the side. Some great stickers here, which I did apply because I don't think I'm going to use them, showing again. Again, that uh, very ornate lantern there and then the staircase going up. Um, I think I have actually read that the defence, uh, sorry, the um, divination classroom was actually just a redress of the Defence Against the Dark Arts classroom set, um, set being the actual film set, I should say. Um, and these stairs here are the same ones that go up to the sort of pulpit in the Defence Against the Dark Arts class. Um, they just covered everything in red fabric, so they thought people wouldn't notice. Another interesting tidbit is that uh, in the Prisoner of Azkaban film, the scene where Harry is taught uh, the Patronus charm by Lupin, that set is actually Dumbledore's office from the Chamber of Secrets, just with all the furniture removed um, because they weren't going to feature it as a location and the director really wanted to use it. Anyway, random facts over. This side is an almost exact mirror image of the other side, so it all opens out like that. There's nothing that comes down the middle. That's just how it is. Uh, there's a small sort of lantern here, another candle over there, um, and I should also point out there is a crystal at the back there. So that is really all the details. You can set this up how you like with the chair back there, maybe. Uh, desk for the students with a couple of chairs book uh, maybe by Professor Trelawney. A crystal ball can go right on that table there and the tea next to her. Of course things come to life a bit more when you uh, put the figures in. Um, if they don't fall over, Trelawney is a little bit back heavy with that enormous hairpiece which is a fantastic mould. Um, just 
pop these people in and there we go uh, it does lose a little something without those extra stickers so uh, you know let that temper your expectations um, it's decent yeah um, it's a nice representation of the divination classroom I'm trying to think whether we've actually had a representation of this subject before um, possibly in one of the larger Hogwarts castles but uh, not you know a kind of dedicated uh, part of a set so it's nice to finally get it nice to get a new variation on Trelawney. Always good to get some extra students. Uh, you know, you can swap the heads out, make them random Gryffindors or different Gryffindors. And uh, yeah, these stickers are going to be quite useful in the future. Just a couple of things left to show you. First of all, we get the spare pieces. Nothing too crazy there, just the small ones. Sprues for the wand. Extra teacup, which is nice. Um, there are the other two just sat right back there. Uh, the instruction manual is exactly the same, although it has got the updated progress bar with Harry making his way across. Didn't show that in the Defence Against the Dark Arts class set, but it was exactly the same. And the box is the same as we've come to expect as well, if I can actually get that on camera. Uh, obviously this is the European box, and uh, on the back it shows um, the two possibly most popular um, ones from the first series of Hogwarts Moments, along with the Defence Against the Dark Arts, and this one. So yeah, that's pretty much everything for this set. Um, would I have got it if it was just a standalone set by itself? Probably not. Uh, might have tried to pick up the figs afterwards, uh, but I mainly got this for just the sake of completion. Um, along with the Defence Against the Dark Arts one, I really wanted that because I've got the four previous ones. So now I have got all six and uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to do uh, something vaguely interesting with them. Um, don't, don't get too excited. It's not that good really. Um, just a way of displaying them, probably alongside my Hogwarts icon set, but that's going to have to wait till we are all moved into the new house and everything has been set up once again. So thank you very much for watching this review, I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have then please give the video a like and uh, leave a comment down below and uh, give me your thoughts on this set and the Hogwarts moment theme in general. Uh, do you think there are going to be any more of them? Um, presumably if they sell well enough there will be. And uh, if you do want to support the channel, there are a couple of links in the description that uh, show you how you can do that. So, until next time, have a good one.